We're gonna go check on our garden. Oh, I'll come when we come back up here. I'll get all the video of what Jeff worked on yesterday. Say hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. We just ate um, hamburgers on the grill. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna be down here that long, Carl. So all of this is cleared. Now you see where the ground is. We got we got all this to do. Well, not we, Jeff. I help when I'm not at work. <laughs> we're walking to the garden. Still a lot less to do from versus last year. that great that little pine mountain you think you got too much nutrition our garden. Jeff and Colin planted corn on the outer edges and then you can see, see, there's some corn growing and then right beside the corn is carrots and carrots are on the other side of carrots is a green onion and then beside the, 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 not green onion, those are just, what, we planted Valdelia onion, didn't we? There's some kind of, I don't think they're Valdelias. Oh. And then beside that is green beans. And then what's that that you're ste almost stepping on? Oh, that's the green beans. That's the green beans. And then beside that's the tomatoes. red potatoes coming up. We got bell peppers and green peppers. I don't know if you can see. We got red beauty sweet peppers. And then we got tomatoes. Big boy tomatoes they're called. All down there, we've got watermelon, gourds, um, what else do we have over here? That's just the watermelon. That's the watermelon? Mm -hmm. okay. I see a couple little watermelons. Cantaloupes. Cantaloupes coming up. I didn't think we did we plant cantaloupe? Those are those are gourds. Oh yeah, it's the gourds. Where's the uh, cucumbers? Right here. Oh, they're not growing yet. Not yet. But it's not too bad.
ini. You gotta get the grass mode up there. Yeah, the grass. I saw the carrots. I showed. They're coming up. Uh huh. I think I did. The grass is needing to get mowed. But it is enjoying. It gets full sun when the sun's out. So. I'm going to take the weed whacker to this right here. Mm -hmm. But we think our neighbor's mower has gone down. So. We haven't really done much. This foundation's what? Seems like the road is packed down a lot more. I mean, their driveway. Oh, I'd hate to have to pay the cost to run their sewer and their water and electricity down to the site. Well, the electricity's not that bad because you got that pole right there that's going all the way yeah, over to there. Go. That's more than 250 feet that we have to run. Well, he might, they might give him another pole. Yeah. That's cost. Well, how come they're not giving us a pole? So we got all this to work on. This is the side of the property Jeff hasn't gotten to yet. Oh, I didn't get to, I don't think I got to show your mom the used tractor we bought. A craftsman, not tractor, garden. We bought a, got a used one. But unfortunately being used means we've replaced three belts and we still got to replace another one. <laughs> but it'll work. I guess we got a lot of wind so it blew it off. It's pretty how the sun breaks through the trees. You Hopefully this will be just as now. easy. Huh? You can see the dead ones now. Yeah, that dead tree right there. There's a couple up there too. Yeah, there's two of them. Two dead trees. Right in front of us. And then there's one there. One right here. There. There's one in the middle. Right yeah. Yeah. Well, firewood for next year. We got a lot of rain, so you can see all that water right there. They made a little culvert, but that's not our property. Our property goes from that orange stake and it kind of goes a diagonal. To that stake right there but we kind of you can see where we keep it so we use the path yeah we're putting a fence in we're, yeah, we're, in. we're gonna start doing a fence <laughs> yeah because see all this water right here where did where jeff dug uh to get the water to drain and stay off of the all the property um that's actually on their side the drainage ditches because see there's the stick with the orange flag so right diagonal in front of us is our property and on the other side so that tree is actually on our neighbor's property but we saved it so it's just more blockage from seeing them their driveway but jeff dug this trying to get the water away from this side because this is really all the flat land we have everything else is hill So you can see where you can see just the uh, tr the leaves that are down on the grounds where Jeff's hit it with the weed whacker. So all this other we've got. But you know, this would have took you, what, months to do versus how long it takes you. Yeah. You can probably get the rest now. of the land done in maybe three days. Mm -hmm. See, the, tr the truck is up there where the driveway is. So that's a little pile left from where we brought it down last year. And then where all this really pretty green grass is, Jeff put Kentucky, is it Kentucky grass seed down? Mm -hmm. 
And so this is where we couldn't even stand. This is where we had that humongous burn pit that we were here till one o'clock. Well, you were here at one o'clock. He took us home at 10 <laughs> that burnt all night with the three trees, three full solid, probably what, 12 foot tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then this was also where Jeff got eat up by chiggers. So he's got to take the weed whacker this week. And uh, I'm not sorry, I'm out of breath already. Um, and whack this luscious green grass. It's so pretty, though. It just makes me think about St. Patrick's Day for some reason. It's, nice it's so nice and green versus the rest of it. <clears throat> but it's fresh, brand new grass. The only thing is, is we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do this all over again next year so that this can be leveled and more flat. Because we're gonna dig a ditch that goes along here instead of it winding so that we can flatten all this out and have more flat area to, you know, to entertain or to, to bring a swing, like a, a rocking bench or something so that we can enjoy it down here in the sun too. Um, so that tree right there is a Bradford pear. We saved it. It had vines that were just embedded into the, to the, uh, what do you call that? The trunk. the trunk of the tree. I couldn't think of it. Um, and now it's really bloomed out. And, and uh, Jeff topped it. It was much taller than that. He topped it this spring. So we're hoping that it'll grow wider instead of taller. <clears throat> and you won't believe this, but that little bitty tree right there, I actually went into the woods and dug that. That's a red bud. I went and dug it up and half of a root with it, system with it, and planted it a month or two ago, and it's actually living. Still green, right? Uh-huh. And so that's a red bud tree, and then that tree was... We, little, huh? Those little bud on it. It's got bud things on it? Well, let's just walk across. Colin, don't step in the water. That we saw before. Oh, so that's new leaves? No, it's those seed pods. We could probably start when they get mature, those pods. We could probably try to grow some. See, I don't know if you can see that. See the little pods? Yeah. They're so pretty in the spring. It had, it had little purple. purple buds on it. Red bud. Oh, it's, yeah. It's a, so we have two red bud trees as long as that one survives. But it looks like it's doing okay. And then my favorite tree that we have, it looks like a little stick. That one right there, and that's a mimosa, mimosa tree. And it has, it looks like it when, uh, when the leaves finally bloom, they'll look like fern leaves and they have these little pink flowers on them all summer long. It's the only tree we have like that, and apparently it takes the longest to bloom. But um, I'm really praying that when they come to clear all that wood over there, the trees, they got to, I don't know, all up in here is where the house is going to be. So they're going to have to pull, uh, you know, not, they got to dig up, push down, whatever, 24 big trees. So I really. We're going to have to be here every time they're on the land because I want to save that one and only tree. I know, sounds ridiculous, but when you see it this summer blooming with those pink flowers, you'll understand how absolutely gorgeous it is. But it starts right there and it leans all the way over here towards me. It's right almost in front, above me. See, there's the, that piece of branch. So, I mean, it's pretty big. It's gorgeous. But the land is gorgeous. Jeff's worked really hard to cleaning it. We've all worked hard, but not like Jeff. Jeff has really worked hard on it. So it's all clear over here where he's worked on it. And Colin, you mowed too. You got to help mow one day last week, I think. Uh -huh. 
what's that tree that tulip. the deers like to scrape their antlers on? Tulip tree. Tulip tree. That's a, the little one beside that pine is a tulip tree. It's a real small, but it's got new leaves on it, so we know it's surviving. And of course, all these big trees, they provide such a lot of shade. It's like a little state park, like Jeff said. Here's water that's coming, that's still setting, that comes from the ground right there. But we're going to get the leaf blower and blow off all the the rocks that we have in our, that we've been throwing down here for our little creek bed. I can't wait to have a bunch of dump loads of truck of rock from dump trucks to fill this up so you can really see what it looks like. And you really can't see because the, the leaves just cover it up. Huh? Yeah, but all of that's been cleared. Our little bird bath my girlfriend Annette gave us. usually park over in here um, but now that we got our driveway we park over there that's one of the trees that we have to cut down it's completely dead look how tall that is how tall you think that is Jeff Probably 75 feet 75 feet that'll be we're gonna use that wood for building the bridge. Oh, uh -oh. but I'm on one side of the gully, you can see the and, rocks and Jeff's on the other. It's kind of weird how you can see the sunlight, see, breaking through the trees and it's kind of making. It's going to take a lot of rocks to fill this up though. But we get it filled up, then the dirt will stop washing away. <coughs> yeah, it's been at it for years. But it's gonna look so much more aesthetically pleasing. <coughs> oh gosh. <sighs> I thought y'all were going to shoot the 22 today. Yeah. <coughs> no hurry. <coughs> Careful. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong one to stand on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I put that one there. That was heavy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, no, we both put it on the, you put, we put it on the, um, truck. no, well, it was in the truck, but I mean, we put it on the wheelbarrow, mm -hmm. but see where the pink is. That's where the end of the, the side porch is going to be. It's going to be a nice viewing of the, of this little Creek. But the canopy is already out. The leaves are...
providing a lot of shade. I just keep going up and up. I'm literally completely above my head right now. Is it a shaggy oak? Mm-hmm. Hickory. That's no, shaggy hickory. Shaggy bark hickory. <clears throat> All you hear here's the birds and a uh, random car when it goes by. Oh, I just heard a rooster. Oh, this COVID is killing me. It just don't want to go away. Let release my lungs. But you can see at the angle that the truck's at, that's the driveway. I've not got the phone slanted. It's diagonal away from me. That's how steep the driveway's gonna be. What do you think that incline is? Or what is that? Big, what do you call that? Nine degrees. Huh? Nine degrees. Nine degrees? I would say it's more than nine. I was thinking more like 10 to 20, but. All this pink represents where the house is gonna be. How big these rocks were that they made us take. Hmm. Our little fire. First one for 2021. All right, well, that's it, Mom. That's our update. Y'all say hello and goodbye.